Yo, 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 my game musicians out there. This is not just Ubbo. No, shot for short. And. Oh, was that my. What, is that my cue? That is our cue. Um, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go with that. Um, so, okay. say, say your name, um, good sir. Um, uh, hi guys, my name is Twilight Brawler from Twilight Brawler's Let's Plays on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I do Let's Plays, if you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And we are doing this in, surprisingly, post-commentary. And yes, there is kind of a long story behind this. And as you guys can probably tell, I have the music off right now. Do you know why? Well, the reason why is because, as you can probably tell, Link is right now in track. He's just basically running really fast. It, it looks like we applied a hack to the game. Yeah, exactly right. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a long story, guys, but just... I didn't know the bunny hood was in this game. I know, we didn't know that... Good God. Or, or, yeah, Link is wearing an invisible bunny hood. <laughs> Ex exactly. Yeah. Or unless we can actually... If the running man actually gave him, you know, just an invisible bunny hood, and, you know, we didn't really know about it, and... <laughs> Someone needs, to, someone needs to make a hack of that. Just hack a bunny hood in. Yes, exactly. Or the stone mask. The stone mask, yeah. Um. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I I still don't even know what that does. The stone mask makes you invisible for basically the whole thing. It makes things entirely broken in Majora's Mask. I mean, no enemies can oh, see it. Oh, does it? But God damn, I need to play that game, don't I? Yeah, you do need to play that game. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, anyway, I have it downloaded on the Wii. I just I, I just need to I just need to get my ass up to play it. Mm -hmm. Or you know just. Yeah, I mean, you probably should because Majora's Mask is pretty, pretty involved. It's probably, probably as involved as this game is. Um, but yeah, we. I just don't, I just don't know if I'm gonna like the, um, the side quests. Yeah, yeah, I know like, there's so many side quests in that game, and you know. Yeah, like I, this is this is not my jam, you know. Yeah, you're more into the. I don't know. Maybe I like. Uh... Of course, I mean, then again, this game has a few side quests. Some of them are kind of, kind of tedious, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I I, I like this game just fine. I I guess I I guess that shouldn't be a huge, huge worry. Mm hmm. But yeah, anyway, we are talking to Nabru. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know what's going on because you probably we're probably not the only ones you guys have seen. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've probably I mean NCS and Dark Mind SF and BS2 it. So yeah, basically. Well, or like maybe you freaking played Ocarina of Time like everyone else on the fucking exactly, internet. Exactly, right. And they always complain about Navi and, you know, just how Navi should be the scapegoat of everything and just... <laughs> Everything's Navi's fault. Everything is Navi's fault, yeah, of course. Mm. But anyway. Fucking the... the World War Two, Navi's fault. No, fuck... No, yeah, not Hitler. Hitler, Hitler, was... Hitler was definitely Navi's fault. <laughs> uh, oh, good, good, good job. We made a Hitler joke, you know? Yes. That's... Pinnacle, pinnacle of comedy right there. Exactly. Making a Hitler joke. <laughs> Hail Hitler! No, no, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll just blame the Black Plague on Navi and you just blame everything on her, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, Navi has, a, Navi has some good points to her. I mean, she is, after all, an, a reliable guy. She's, <laughs> she's, she's more helpful than fucking Fi. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Fi is just a little bit... You played you played Skyward Sword, right? Just I've just got gotten into it. Yes. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. I, I I love the um. I love the starting music in um. I can't remember the Cloud City um. Skyloft. Yeah, Skyloft. I I love Skyloft's music. Mm. What about the motion controls? Because that's usually what everyone freaking complains about. Oh yeah, I mean how we have to do everything on the motion plus. I mean. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about it? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, Skyward Sword looks like a really fun, fun game to play. So I'm just gonna go with that. I don't know. I I liked it. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good game. I mean, it's it's all right. Mm -hmm. Like comparatively to like Zelda games, maybe it's not that great. But like comparatively to like the entire game pool on the Wii, exactly. It's pretty fucking good. Yeah, it, it really is good. It's a pretty innovative sort of. Thing is not exactly something that you encounter in a typical Zelda game. <laughs> like I feel like they had to make a shitty like motion controlled game to like get better, you know? Mm -hmm. 
just, just like you know how when you start making videos you can't expect to be fucking you know make the best video in the entire world right you, you gotta make a shitty you gotta like that's the thing with anything creative like you have to do something shitty first exactly like I mean just just kind like, of throw things out you, left field and just yeah <laughs> Music, writing, whatever. You gotta make something shitty, so... I feel like that might be a good starting point, but, like, if they keep on making... If, like... The motion controls are gonna be, like, a huge problem, as they were in Skyward Sword... Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't... I didn't have a problem with it, but clearly a lot of people did. And, like, if that's a reoccurring trend in, like, later Zelda games, then that's when you have a problem. Mm -hmm. And considering that, I mean... I'm, I mean, if, if, if Nintendo ever does decide to make a another Zelda game on the Wii U. I mean, I mean, we're going to be using the gamepad anyway, so, I mean, are they... If, if they are going to apply motion controls to the next Zelda game, are they just going to, like, invent a new, like, a game gamepad motion or something? Or just, I mean... <laughs> that would be a terrible idea. It kind of is. And yes, I hate this room. But yeah, uh... <laughs> oh, by the way, I... Uh, back to the game where Let's Playing. Good yeah, lord. I, I hate this room, guys. I just... Again, again, I may have not told you guys this before, but I just, I have a, I kind of have a phobia about bats. It just, you know, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm always <laughs> afraid I'm going to be bitten by a bat and, you know, it's just going to be rabies all around and just, <laughs> but. Well, you have bats around where you live? Good Lord. Well, no, I, I had a friend who lives in this state who actually got bitten by a bat and she got really sick from it. So. Holy shit. Yeah. And it wasn't it That's wasn't terrible. a vampire bat either. I mean, it was just it was just a common common cave bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Yeah, exactly. And also, that was like the wrong room you went in. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of was. And now we're going to the right room with the stallfos. And cor I remember in my playthrough, I haven't edited this yet, but like, or I, I actually have. I just haven't uh, rendered it. Mm -hmm. But I remember I got stuck in the shadow temple or. Uh, uh, Spirit Temple for like 40 minutes in one video. It was, uh, it was terrible. What was this during the normal quest or master? <laughs> yeah, I think it was master quest actually. Oh. I think normal quest I did just fine, but master quest, holy crap. Yeah, well. Like everything just went to shit. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, master quest has. If you guys have not played master quest, I must remind you that in every single room you're going to encounter at least one Stolfos. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Okay, after after finishing the Ocarina of Time Let's Play, I'm, like, done with Stalfos. Mm, I bet. Because I, well, I well, essentially had to play the game twice with Normal Quest, the Stalfos in there, and then Master Quest. Oh my god, it was a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, Master Quest has so many shenanigans in that game. I mean, it's just, like... It, I don't know, just, I, I just... I thought it was sloppily done. I mean, it's just it, it's just something to just kind of bitch about. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like it's like new dungeons but with old dungeon layout, so they really can't do much. Right, exactly. I mean, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, you know the best thing they could have done, you know, was just probably add new rooms or something or just add some additional yeah. additional flair to it, like like I I wish like hero mode on like the newer Zelda games, like I think uh, Link Between Worlds uh -huh. and um Wind Waker HD, I think they have hero modes. Mm -hmm. And even Skyward Sword. I, I wish, like, they would... Like, double damage is fine for, like, you know, like a challenge, I mm -hmm. guess. But, like, I wish they would just make new dungeons. Right, and... Like, you know yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean... <laughs> or, you know, just... Just, you know, just kind of torque around the dungeons and probably just add new rooms to it. And, yeah, speaking of this, this room was apparent... Also... This, this room was <laughs> apparently hard for me because I just... I hate the... That little gap there, and... The I mean, of course, I mean the blade trap didn't really make things even better. I mean, <laughs> yeah. did you like die five yeah, times in here? By, good by lord! That same blade trap. I mean, look at that thing. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> uh, of course, I am. I forgot about that. Yeah, I know exactly. Oh, dude, that's four. That's four. Can we die another time to prove me? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you you jumped in there all for not. I know exactly. Like, there was no reason to go there. And of course, and, 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 just all the keys and of course, we're back here in this Kafka-esque room with the cage and everything. Oh lord! Yeah, guys, step right up, step right up to see the most brilliant cage alive. See all these bats just fl flying here and there. Be afraid, be afraid! Oh, oh no, no, 
not the bats! Yeah, exactly. Stupid keys. <laughs> Always getting on my grill. And no, guys, that was definitely not a pun. Because I know these are all fire keys, and I know how much they want to oh grill you. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, the, and these freaking uh, cages look like grills. Is that, well, yeah, I know, exactly. I didn't really notice that before. <laughs> okay, no, what would you call these things? Would you call them cages or grates or, like, what? I think they're more like, um... They're more like fences, you know, just... Fences? Yeah, because, I mean, they look a lot like, you know, just your average fence in your backyard. I mean, because, <laughs> I mean, they always have that, that diamond pattern, you know, the... Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just, you know, I just I kind of refer to this, this whole thing as a cage. It's... Yeah, 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 I see. Mm -hmm. But, like, when I see a cage, I think of, like, vertical bars. Like a prison cell, almost. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I don't, I don't ever think of like, like these grating patterns. Like, is that, uh, is that a word? I don't know. Well, like these grate patterns or something. I don't fence know. Fence patterns. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's... yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those. I, I never think. Like, I mean, I guess, I guess, it, I guess it could be, but like, I never think of it like that. No. <laughs> also, we are totally not talking about the game at all. Yeah, Holy yeah, crap. I know exactly. And I mean, this is why we don't do post commentary. <laughs> I know. Well, well, I mean. Again, I'm I'm pretty sure everyone's done the Spirit Temple. I mean, this is after all the child yeah. portion. The child portion is probably the least important from than the adult one because the adult one is even longer than this. <laughs> yeah, no, the the adult one was really long. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, especially in Master Quest, because like in Master Quest, if I remember correctly, uh, you have to do you do like very little things as Child Link, uh -huh. and then as Adult Link, you do like the rest. So it's like really spaced up. Yeah. There you go. There's our fifth time. Yeah. There, yeah number five. <clears throat> why? Why? Why did? Why did we even stick around in this room? Like, there's nothing here. I know, Zach. Like, well, we were just kind of, we were just being all wild and drunk, you know, just stuff like that. Which I'm. No, I wasn't drunk. Are you kidding me? I don't drink. Yeah, I don't drink either. But yeah, I just, I was just kind of really tired. So I mean. <laughs> I I think we were just like. Talking about random stuff and you're just wandering around. Yeah, yeah and exactly. No one yeah. ever really noticed. Yeah, I think that's probably one of, one of my bigger weaknesses as a let's player is sometimes I just go on different tangents and I just I forget about the game and. <laughs> well, no. See, I feel like that's better than like trying to force your way to talk about the game. Right. Like almost like if you're out of things to say, you might as well like. Just. If you're out of things to say about the game, you might as well talk about something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like maybe updates or something, or, or yeah, especially like nowadays, like, like uh, when Let's Play first started, like, it was very taboo to do that, very taboo to talk about stuff that wasn't the game. Mm -hmm. But as like, as PewDiePie, Markiplier, and, and like uh, and you know those. other people yeah. came came into popularity, mm -hmm. Let's Play you know changed, it changed, it yep. became like something where you just talk about random stuff, yeah. some random interesting. Yeah, I know stuff. exactly. I mean, I remember back when um. SSOHPKC, um, who is actually a native Chicagoan, um, when he was actually first doing Mario hacks on, um, on his channel, I mean, he was just basically, um, he was just kind of really depressed, and he was just talking about the game, like, non-stop, but, you know, as he was, um, as he was progressing further, you know, into Mario hacks, he just, he started to talk more about his work life and stuff like that, and just basically, just, oh, yeah. He just he treated them more like updates than just regular playthroughs. You know, and like like before it was very taboo as well to do games like to do blind let's plays essentially cuz mm -hmm. what are you supposed to talk about the game if you don't if you've never played it unless it's like you know I played like all the Zelda games and I'm doing a blind let's play of Skyward Sword like then maybe okay but like if I'm doing a blind let's play of I don't know, like Pikmin, yeah. where I've never played yeah, it. I know exactly. Like or, I'm not, or, or, or I can't say or anything. even better, Star Fox 64. 